Well, hopefully. <laughs> and welcome. Well, there's not too many uh, more iconic sporting cities in the world than we here at Melbourne. You know, we have in Melbourne, we have the Grand Prix, you have the AFL Grand Final, the race that stops the nation. But more importantly, we also have the Melbourne Storm, now a team that's been around for 18 years. But more uh, important is the culture and the winning culture of the Storm. And I'm here today with uh, Robbie Coons, one of the inaugural members of the Melbourne Storm. Robbie, you were part of the foundation team for the Melbourne Storm. Tell me a little bit about those early days. Yeah, T, it's, uh, thanks for having me here today, mate. Uh, now, we had a, uh, obviously a, a great environment when we first came here back in 1998. Uh, had a fair bit of success in our first couple of years. In our first year, one came third, and now uh, in our second year, history shows that we, uh, we won the premiership. And um, I put it down to the fact that uh, we worked very hard in those early days. We had a great coach in Chris Anderson, had great leaders in the team, such as yourself and Glenn Lazarus. And uh, we sort of created a great environment, great culture. And um, back then, the, uh, the coach at the time was a bit old school, Chris Anderson. He was like, he uh, let us enjoy ourselves. But, uh, you know, basically it was a bit of a, a train hard, play hard and, and um, drink hard mentality back in the days. But uh, times have changed. But that sort of, uh, I suppose, culture has sort of flowed on. Uh, onto nowadays with Craig Bellamy and uh, I mean we're, we're very lucky, got a good, lot of good people here at the club but uh, culture is a big thing they use but uh, culture to me is a thing that, uh, it's a one word and um, it could mean a lot of different things but it's basically doing the right thing over and over again, being consistent in what you do and uh, here at the Melbourne Storm the boys do that religiously whether it's at training, on the track or um, out on the field they try to do their best each and every time they're out on, on the track or field and uh, so be it. Yeah, mate, you can talk underwater, mate. There was Whoa. a big long answer from that, but Whoa. just in terms of that, Coonsy, I know um, you know you had some great leaders at the club. Um, you know, the storm over the last 18 years has created a, a winning culture um, for those uh, new teams out there or teams that aren't used to that. And you talked about some of the key elements: having great leadership, having great people in the in the club. Uh, if you can just put your finger on one sort of thing, and you know, Craig Bellamy's created a dynasty now. But in the future, how do you think the culture's going to remain here at Melbourne? Yeah, I mean, it's you know we've been 18 years old here at the Melbourne Storm, and uh, as I said, yourself and Glenn Lazarus played a massive role early days. But uh, this day and age, we've got the likes of Cameron Smith, Billy Slater, Cooper Cronk, and they lead by example. And uh, you know, it's, we we all know it. You've been there before, T. It's, uh, you, can, you can talk all you want, but uh, when it comes to the walk, you got to walk it, and uh, that's exactly what these boys do. They're all 32 years of age, and they're the guys that uh, train the hardest. Um, they're out on the track, the first first guys out on the track, last guys to leave, and uh, so they set a great example. So it's all in your actions, and uh, that's what we've sort of created here at the Melbourne Storm. Yeah, it's, you certainly have created that, uh, Kenzie, but I suppose one of the key things for me is having a strong values base. You know, you talk about some of the, the values. Uh, can you just elaborate a little bit more on some of the values you talked about? Having respect for each other, a really strong work ethic. What else do you think is a key element of creating a winning culture? Yeah, it's about respect. As you said here at the club, uh, we respect each other and we respect everyone inside our in, in, in inner sanctum and also outside that as well. Uh, but it's a work ethic thing that uh, really uh, Craig pushes home on the boys. You know, I mean, it's about work ethic. You can have all the ability in the world, but if you haven't got the work ethic, you'll never make it. And that's exactly the uh, environment we've created down here. So that's uh, that's a big part of who we are here at the Melbourne Storm. So, Coonsie, you've been here, um, you know, on the gravy train for the last 20-odd years, mate, you know, as a player, as a, uh, as now an administrator, someone that's looking after marketing, uh, the corporates, you know, you created a, an image, uh, not only for the club, but the brand name of the Storm is very, very strong in the Melbourne uh, Melbourne commercial space and, you know, AFL is the number one game down here, but uh, how has uh, Melbourne maintained a presence in that market? Yeah, it's very hard to, obviously we're in an AFL dominant town, but uh, we've created our own little sort of niche down here. Um, obviously we've had a whole lot of success on field and slowly we're sh starting to turn our off field success around. Um, but one thing we've been very lucky down here at the Melbourne Storm, I don't know whether it's by chance or luck, but um, we actually have good people at the club. Uh, whether that be players, the coaching staff, or even the administration people, we basically, uh, you know, we all we're all good people, and uh, usually if they're not good people, they sort of get dwindled out pretty quick. So, uh, as I said, it's, it's it's basically one one part of the Melbourne Storm that uh, we can really sort of hang our hat on that uh, the club is full of good people. Well, we appreciate that, uh, Coonsy. We know that um, you know you have a massive experience. You're well respected in the Melbourne community, not just in the rugby league, but also the AFL. And uh, really, just want to thank you very much for giving that little bit of an insight into what makes a winning culture, especially here at the Melbourne Storm. This is Tawaranikau for Team One TV. See you next time.
Bang. 